Hey guys, so in this tutorial um, I'm going to talk a bit about doing modular environment design. So when you are building levels um, it's good to use a, a modular environment design type of system because you can build um, larger levels faster. Um, it saves time and having to add detail. Um, saves a whole lot of modeling time. It's uh, it's very efficient because um, the the system can instance um, some of the pieces and doesn't have to call the different pieces of geometry over and over because it's referencing some of the same uh, pieces uh, multiple times. So I built this this little room here. As you can see, it's very boxy, um, but all of it is made of these little modular pieces that I've set up. So we have a corner, we have these little alcoves, um, we have this wall piece, and um, there's an open floor space piece. There's a transition to go between um, my larger room and my hallways. Then my hallways, my corners of my hallways. And you can add additional pieces if you want to have uh, like T's uh, or uh, or intersections for uh, multi to go in multiple different directions. So this is just a, a real quick, dirty way um, that you can make a handful of different pieces and uh, start building your levels fast. So uh, one thing you need to do is make sure that everything is the same size. So set up a scene either in uh, Maya or Max or whatever your preferred uh, modeling platform is and uh, just model everything to the same scale, uh, ensuring that you don't have to try to scale your, your pieces to make sure they're the same size because um, that, can, that can get um, kind of hairy inside of Unity here and can leave some gaps in between um, some of your pieces. Another important thing is your pivot point. So um, my larger pieces, I have my pivot point right in the middle uh, of, of the pieces, which is fine. I could also put them at the corners uh, and, that, and that would help out a lot too. Uh, but like these hallway pieces, if you look, my pivots are right at the edge. And what's useful about that is if I want to add a couple more, I can just, you know, pop them right in, and they're easy to um, they're easy to move around uh, by using that pivot point uh, just to add in more, uh, you know, more level space very quickly. Um, because if if you use like the uh, here in Unity, we'll change it from pivot to center. If I try rotating and and adding my pieces in from from center, uh, depending on the size of your pieces, it might not, not always line up, and then you have to come over here to the inspector and change the position um, to make sure that uh, that it um, fits fits right, so you don't have any gaps in between your pads. Um, so it, it's a good idea to make sure you have a pivot point in a useful place that is in a um, a whole number integer type of position before exporting. I like to have mine uh, at the at the zero position of my uh, my scene in Max before I export out my pieces, just to ensure that uh, that they're easy to line up. So another thing that I'm using here inside of Unity is under Edit. There's uh, this option called Snap Settings, and because I know uh, how big these pieces are. Um, Inside of uh, Max, and they're all scaled the same. Uh, inside of Unity, I need to figure out exactly what that scale ratio is, and then I can add in snap settings. So each one of these pieces here is approximately, uh, I think, about 50 or 100 units wide. And then each one of these units, uh, these hallway units, is 50 uh, units wide and 100 units long. Now that that helps uh, for my snap settings by using those numbers because by holding the control key, you you can see that my number uh, for my position is snapping by approximately 25 each time I move it. Now the numbers can get off a, a little bit by 0 0.1, 0 0.2 eventually, and sometimes you might need to go and just uh, reset it, uh, get rid of these extra numbers here on the end. Um, 
just to ensure that your pieces line up and there's no gaps in between. But using those snap settings helps uh, you to be able to build out your levels uh, much faster. Um, you know, and you can easily just move pieces around and, uh, and keep adding. So if I want to you know, add a, another wall here, you know, I can just keep keep duplicating these pieces out and uh, you know, keep adding some more detail as I go. So again, the purpose of modular level design is you you save the number of assets that you have to create. You can use them over and over again, and then you can place them, you know, in a essentially mathematical uh, type of way to get them all to uh, fit together without um, having gaps in between, and uh, just can be done very very quickly, very efficiently. So right here is an example of how I'm using uh, modular level uh, design to create a more complex environment without having to do a lot of work. I have a bunch of different little pieces here that I've made to be able to create this, this more complex uh, and detailed environment just very, very easily. And I'm using basically uh, the, the same format as the the box model we just looked at um, but I'm just adding some some pillars some more detailed um, you know edging and things like that around around uh, the edges to add more depth and detail uh, to the environment that I'm building however this scene only took me a couple minutes to put together but it has uh, a lot more character to it uh, just by um, using the same principles of modular level design. It made it very easy to put together uh, this more complex uh, looking uh, scene and all I had to do was um, you know just just build them in the first place in a way that I could reuse them over and over. So I hope that this tutorial has um, given you a little bit of understanding how modular level design works and how to implement it into your own pieces. If you found the video useful, please like it. And um, please uh, watch the channel uh, as we have more videos to come regarding uh, Unity, regarding uh, game design in general, and uh, modeling. Thanks.